Hey guys, Brent the Plant Assassin with you. So 2016, you know what that means. The United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization has decreed, that's right, by fiat, that this year is the year of the pulse. What does that mean? Well, a pulse is a legume that's harvested for its dry edible seed. So it's the year of beans and lentils, basically. Go beans. But the reason that they're doing this is that they want people to know how important legumes are for many of the developing areas of the world and also for first world nations because we do rely on many of the legumes directly and indirectly directly you eat them in kidney beans and lima beans lentils and indirectly they have many uses such as alfalfa which is a legume and it's used um, for fodder for animals and to fix nitrogen in soil and also soybeans are often planted in the in the fall with the intent of uh, plowing them under when the spring comes in so that the new new crop was there and the reason for that's for the nitrogen that they uh, put in the soil so so not only are pulses important for the third world but they're also very important for the first world and today we're going to be talking about the prairie turnip which as far as I know, was never harvested for the seeds, but it was harvested for the root. So technically it's not a pulse, but it's in the legume family. So it's related to all these plant species that they're um, putting a spotlight on. So it's close enough. Why am I doing it? All the cool kids are doing it. So 2016, year of the pulse. So first off, where is the prairie turnip native to? It's native to North America, out on the Great Plains. So from up in uh, Alberta and Saskatchewan down to Arizona and uh, Texas, and essentially from the Continental Divide over to the Mississippi River is where its original habitat was. Um, today, it's not as populated in, that, in those areas. And essentially, it's because of overgrazing with cattle in certain areas. <clears throat> and then when the settlers first came in, they used to run uh, pig herds and let them um, kind of become feral. And for most of the year, they would uh, fend for themselves. And pigs like to root in the soil to get bulbs and insects and grubs and that type of stuff so the prairie turnip was uh, was a plant that uh, the pigs um, ate a lot and so it reduced the populations another thing is that the uh, the Great Plains um, it's also one of the uh, major agricultural areas in the United States so a lot of the land has been used to grow other crops so the corn and wheat and <clears throat> a lot of those uh, those crops come from this area in the United States. So of course, cultivating a field um, kind of pushes out the native plants of the area. So its range has been greatly reduced. However, it's still uh, it, it's not endangered by any sense of the word. Word it's very common, and they're fair, fairly easy to find. So it's not a not like we're losing this uh, species here. So <clears throat> because it's native to the Great Plains, which has been called the American Savannah, it's very drought tolerant and it can survive in harsh conditions. So it's uh, in some places you may find it, it, it could be out there in a hard pan where you essentially have to get like a pickaxe to try to get the root out. And it seems to do fine. It just grows, 
and you know when it rains it kind of blossoms and then when there's no rain it withers back to the ground root goes dormant and it waits for next year so it's very um, very drought hardy it's a it's a plant that's tolerant of conditions that are not conducive to a lot of our domesticated crops so um, as a legume it is nitrogen fixing and so that's a, a valuable <coughs> um, asset it uh, so not only can it grow in poor soils but it can actually improve the soil quality for other plants so I guess the first question is where did I get my uh, prairie turnip seeds given that it is not native to Idaho at least as far as I know um, I've never seen it um, I've talked with people and they haven't seen it and according to all the plant population surveys that I've looked up um, it just doesn't grow on this side of the continental divide which is very frustrating because it's not that far away it's just over the hill and it, it in some ways it seems like a you know some of those seeds could have been dispersed but they're not so I got my seeds from if we get that prairie moon nursery I've been very pleased with uh, everything I've got from them so far and I've had good germination um, results they haven't sent me anything that's been bad <clears throat> so it comes in a packet there's about 20 seeds and it also has a um, a small bag of the bacterial inoculant that you'll need and where they're nitrogen fixing um, a lot of people talk about the fact that plants are nitrogen fixing but what that means is that the plant has a symbiotic relationship with certain species of bacteria and so the the bacteria and the plant work together to take the nitrogen and fix it in the soil so it's available for the plant and also for um, other nearby plants so they give you everything you need 20 seeds and the uh, and the inoculant and it has a little uh, <coughs> a little instruction um, pamphlet with it on how to germinate them so Thank <laughs> you.